Hey guys, so glad that you could be here today for our daily devotional. One of the things that's really surprised me with everything that's taken place recently is how quickly we are able to adapt to our circumstances. I remember feeling myself at the beginning of everything like, man, how long is this going to go? Am I going to be able to, to deal with this very well? Because all of a sudden my schedule was completely changed. And very quickly I settled into a new routine and it seemed like as I was talking to a number of friends and, and people at the church, uh, they would say the same thing like, yeah, we've kind of settled into a new routine. It's the new normal. That's a term that we've heard uh, so many times. And I think that's really a tremendous thing that we are able to adapt so quickly. But there are some times where that ability to adapt and to get accustomed and, and uh, familiar with certain things is actually not so good for us. In the book of Revelation at the very beginning, uh, Jesus writes these seven letters to seven different churches. And you could almost say that the letters are um, his way of examining the churches and just kind of giving them his evaluation where they are at that time in their spiritual walk. And the very last letter that he writes is to the church in Laodicea. And when Jesus gives his evaluation of the church, he tells them, you are lukewarm. You are neither hot nor cold. And, and that might not seem like a big deal, but basically what he's saying is, you're not on fire for me. You don't reject me either. You're just kind of comfortable with me. You know, I'm a part of your life, but you don't get really excited. You're not really fully dedicated to me. So he says they are lukewarm and goes on to say, and because of that, I'm going to spit you out of my mouth. It is repulsive to God. He doesn't like it when we get that way. In the book of Jeremiah, uh, the Lord speaks in chapter 2 and he says, Consider then how wicked and evil it is when you forsake me and have no awe of me. I think it's tremendous that we can adapt so quickly and we can get used to our circumstances but that is actually a really bad thing when it comes to our walk with God. I think it's so easy for us to get over familiar with Jesus. By over familiar, I don't mean that we could possibly ever spend too much time with him. I think we lose sight of who we're talking to when we do it. And so I just want to encourage you that as you're spending time with the Lord, as you're reading his word, as you're praying, Spend some time even before that to reacquaint yourself with, with who you're talking to, to think about it a little bit so that we can have that awe. I think it's such a beautiful thing when we read scripture and when we read verses or passages that we've gone over time and time again. I think it's so important that we don't become complacent or become too comfortable with those passages, but we really soak them in and we can just sit back in awe and wonder of who the Lord is and we can worship and celebrate him rightly. I think if we continue to do that, that keeps us from being lukewarm because we always have this healthy fear of the Lord. We always have this sense of wonder and amazement and it drives us closer to him. So I hope that you'll do that today, uh, that you'll spend time with him, that you will hunger and seek for more and that when you do it, you'll do it like a little child, just looking up and saying, God, I want to see you in all of your glory. If you do that, I promise he'll fill you and it'll be amazingly helpful in your spiritual walk. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are so good and so amazing. Lord, we know that you're even better than we can imagine right now. So we do pray that you would give us the spirit of wisdom and revelation to see you rightly, that we would have a healthy fear of you, that we would be in awe, and God, that we would just be driven to worship you and to give you all of the glory and honor that you were due. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you. I hope you have a great day. We look forward to talking to you again tomorrow.